Hello everyone, it's Marky. How's it going guys? I got tons of Hot Wheels to show you. Showcasing a bunch of Hot Wheels, including this new find. This is from A-Case of 2022. The Baja Bone Shaker. This one is really something. Look at this. New for 2022 in this color. The Baja, the Baja Bone Shaker. Giant wheels on this one. Big, big tires. Big, big fat tires. This is what, uh, like, a kind of like a copper, red copper color on this one. Big, big pipes coming out the sides. Big engine up here. There's the skull in the front. I have the lights on top. Spare tire back here. With the wheel inside in chrome, the tire's kind of like painted in the same color as the, as the body. And you can see there, the Baja Bone Shaker Hot Wheels. Pretty cool. I've been having some really strange finds, but I did find this one, which is a 2022 A-Case car. And I do have the treasure hunt for the Baja Bone Shaker, which I haven't opened. This one, you can see right there, it has a little treasure hunt fire little emblem there and this one came out a while back for halloween halloween treasure hunt uh the previous year i believe like uh 2020 i think that's what it says right there 2020 and you can see they're pretty similar but this one is so hard to find there's there wasn't that many around since it's a treasure hunt and you can see the logo down there and it says, you just found a collectible treasure hunt car. A little congratulations. And it says the symbol means that you found the treasure hunt car. The symbol's back there in kind of like a silver color in the little circle. And it's the same car, just a different color. Obviously black base, purple base. Pretty cool. They did change the wheels. This one has the skulls on it. And this one just has the gold ring around there with the uh, blacked out spokes. And they both have that big skull in the front. The bone shaker. There we go. The bone shaker. All right. So that's pretty cool that I got a, another A-Case car. That's the only one I was able, able to find from A-Case. And I did stop by a gift shop the other day that sells toys. And I found this Datsun. A little pricey i paid three dollars for this one and uh, i had no choice because i really wanted it i had seen this one before at walgreens and i had passed it up and uh never saw it again so it was time to get it didn't want to lose out or miss out again it's number two of six and six in this uh, series of which i don't have any of these <laughs> i never did find these uh around town so here I have the Datsun now. It's a pretty nice Datsun in this uh, color. It looks so cool. Number 51 for 51 years of Mattel, their anniversary for that year. It's pretty, pretty nice. Nice Hot Wheels to have. It does have the exhaust here on the side. Gold interior. And we have the gold five spokes. Plastic bumper in the front. We do have these little Mirrors on the sides, little race car, little Datsun. All the windows are down. We do have the little rectangular window right there. And the back does have all the windows. Pretty cool. Nice to have it in the collection now. 71 Datsun 510. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Looks like jerry cans are under the car there. 71 Datsun 510 wagon. Copyright 2012 on this one. Really nice. The most recent one I had found of, the, of these uh, wagons was this one right here. And this one has the cherry blossoms on it. Different wheels on it. Co totally different uh, color combination. With the cream and the brown inside. And it does have that racing stri stripe uh, on the top there. Really cool. Really cool and unusual colors. So it's cool to have a couple. And I also have the, the Momo edition, which is this one right here. 
which was kind of hard to find. This was kind of hard to find, but I did find it at Walmart. And it's pretty cool to have all these um, Datsuns now. Um, from what I remember, I think these are the only ones I have now. So I had two, and now I have this uh, this new one here, which is actually an old one. <laughs> but just got lucky finding uh, some old cars in a little old uh, gift shop. In uh, Central Florida here, we do have a lot of these uh, strange gift shops that sell a lot of Disney toys and T-shirts, and they always have cars. They have like... Uh, Hot Wheels or sometimes other brands. But uh, first time that I see Hot Wheels that I actually wanted to pick up. So finally got that one at one of those little gift shops. So that was pretty fun to find that one. And all those cars are so cool. And uh, I did pick up this one. The McLaren Cena, which is, there was an old case put out at uh, my Walmart. And uh, I went back to see if they had any more of uh, any more. And the whole, like, they sold everything. It's incredible. I I went back the day after, I think it was. And um, crazy, but uh, yeah. So they sold out of everything. But I was lucky to get this one. It looks like the, somebody didn't notice this one. It was way in the back of the pegs. So I got this one. Pretty cool. And... From this set, I, I do have, so I, I dug them out. I do have a few others, which I had picked up before, which is from the, this one here from the Rod Squad series. Kind of goes with this set uh, for the year or so, I think. Uh, so the Hudson, and I also had this Mustang already, which is really cool. These are really cool, all from the Zamek or Zamek, Zamex from 2020. Very cool to have these. And I think I just need a few more to complete uh, the set. Well, probably need a bunch more. I didn't find too many of these throughout the year. But they're pretty cool to have in these uh, really nice uh, buffed out. No paint job, just uh, the pure die cast metal color with the stickers or the tampos on them. They look pretty cool. So that's the Hornet, the Mustang Boss 302. And the McLaren Cena. Pretty nice to have them as a uh, Zamex. And I also found. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Knocked over my camera. And I also found this uh, Camaro, 2018 Camaro SS, which I didn't have. Pretty awesome. And it has a 53. So this one's 53 anniversary. This one's 51st anniversary. And it's pretty nice. Pretty nice in the orange. Just opened them up right now, so I hadn't seen them out of the package. It looks pretty cool. This color looks really nice. Wow. I like it. No mirrors on the side on this one. I do have the uh, light blue chrome stripe on the uh, wheels there. Kind of blacked out towards the middle. And you see the Hot Wheels logo. You can't really see the letters there, just the uh, flames. And the blue, the white, and the light blue, or kind of, yeah, it's like a light blue, almost like a silver. But it has blue in it. Four pipes showing on the back. No extra paint for the uh, brakes or anything like that. We do have a little antenna on top. The windows are rolled down. We do have the chrome interior. Left side driver like we drive in America. A beautiful Hot Wheels. Very nice. Plastic base. 2018 Camaro Super Sport. So it's a 2018. I do have the... The later one, the latest one that we've gotten, which is uh, one of these 2017 Camaros, kind of similar, but not exactly the same Camaro. Obviously, there's some differences. One year makes a big difference. <clears throat> the lines change a lot. You can see the shape in the front has changed. So from one year to the other. Camaro. I have the orange version too, which looks really cool. So if you're a Camaro fan, here you go. A few Camaros to gawk at. <laughs> and uh, this one has different wheels on it. These two have the same wheels, just different colors. Little white stripe on this one, black stripe on that one. They're all pretty, pretty uh, plain on the back end here. But very nice stripes on these two. 
And this one looks good too with just the uh, plain darker orange color there. It's a different kind of paint, so see the difference between the orange and uh, the bright orange and the metallic translucent looking orange. Pretty neat to see the little differences between the uh, two Camaros 2017 and 2018 models. This is the Z01, 2017 Camaro Z01. And here they are, head to head. Very similar, but yet different. <laughs> pretty cool. I like these Camaros, pretty nice. Pretty nice. And it's nice to have the, the two uh, latest ones that came out, different cases for 2021 from the Then and Now series. Very nice. I love them. And then I found this one over here, which is really weird. I found a 70 Pontiac uh, GTO. And just a few weeks back, I had found another one in this series. And I had opened it. And I can't remember how many are in this series. Uh, four, eight, ten of them. Pretty cool series. I just haven't found hardly any of these. And I think it's just like old stock that they're finding and putting out there and it it runs out pretty quick 2018 copyright on the card there but the judge so cool now the only other one that i remember getting in this series was that uh firebird that i had found the 60, 67 uh, pontiac firebird and uh i had opened that one up and he's right here. Just dug him up to have them together. So these two are from that really, really cool series. I don't know what you call this series, but it's pretty neat. A lot of uh, cool muscle cars on there. Torino Sports on there. The Cougar. The Shelby. The GTO. The Fairlane. The Galaxy. Impala. Buick GSX. And the 70 Camaro. Pretty nice. And this one comes in the flat black. Big 67 on the door. Super nice. It's a really nice uh, series. I like this. I hope I could find all of these. Hopefully they'll keep putting out some old stuff before Christmas. It's incredible how many uh, cars you miss out on sometimes. And they put out some old cases you can catch up. So it's pretty fun to uh, run into some of these older older sets. It's happened to me already a bunch of times. Found some 50th anniversary, then I found a bunch of other special series. So I'm, I'm enjoying finding all these uh, older, older but really cool cars made by Hot Wheels. These are just awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Man. Nice tamples on these, nice colors, really cool looking wheels. Can't go wrong with these. I love them. There they go. There we go. They look really good. Beautiful muscle cars, guys. I love these. The, the graphics on this one, really cool. And on the, the other car, they had the really cool graphics as well. For the 67. Awesome. Let's put these cards over there on the side and when i was looking at these thinking about this bone shaker that i just picked up i was like i know i have one that looks very similar and here it is it's with the regular bone shaker not the baja see right there the bone shaker very very similar um in color so new for 2022 you get the bone shaker in the baja form now so they have like a little twin there. Let me get some of these cards out of the way. They have like a little twin bone shaker cousins or or brothers. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So the bone shaker is a pretty cool car. Nice hot rod. Here's another one I have in the collection with the blue tires and the black 
blacked out spokes there with a bright green. Some really cool tampa work. And number seven on top. Bone shaker. Big uh, skull in the front. Big pipes. Everything. Pretty cool. Now this one, I think it's about a year old or so. Maybe, maybe more than a year. But there it is in green. And I do have the Moon Eyes version in yellow. Which, as you know, just came out recently in this color right here. And the silver, or the gray, metallic color. Looks really good. So I have these that go with a bunch of hot rods there. I can race these now. Pretty awesome. Very, very cool. And the bone, the bone shaker always reminds me of the, uh, the mod rod. Mod rod. Oh, the rip rod. I'm sorry. The rip rod. The mod rod is this one. Sorry, I was thinking about this one. The mod rod. Yeah. Yeah, because for some reason, for some reason, every time I find the bone shaker, they'll have these two together. Looks like they came in the same case. And uh, the mod rod. Another nice uh, hot rod. And then the rip rod. The rip rod. Now, the rip rod here is in. The red color this is a plastic body which is really strange with a metal base and these really tiny little tires in the front bigger wheels in the back not too much bigger just a slightly bigger look how tiny these look these look let's see how they look next to the bone shaker oh that's not the bone shaker the rip ride getting all my names uh mixed up today <laughs> so this one I picked up in a, a different color, but I never opened it. But here he is. I don't know why I never opened it, but I had this one in a case. So I was just checking out. See if I could find I knew I had a blue one and, a, you know, like the blue and silver color, blue and chrome. And then I find it and it's in its little, on the card, still on the card. Just never opened it. I don't know why I never opened this one. But this is the older logo where they don't cut off the uh, end on the card there but it's cool to see them side by side a little little collection going here of, of uh of the rip rods yeah got the name right rip rod <laughs> rip rod from the hot wheels dream garage custom hot rods pretty cool hot wheels though i do like having the two uh, both colors they look they look good the blue really has something special to it i don't know the chrome and all that looks really cool and the red, the red, red and black looks good. Man, I gotta love them all. They are so cool. That's a pretty cool one. And then I was talking about the uh, the mod rod right here. I kept finding it next to the bone shaker on the shelves, and here's a black one that I picked up, which I had saved up in a in a uh, put away in a box with my other rip rod, and they were together. So this was the mod rod in black. Now I don't remember if the mod rod came out next with that same assortment of the blue rip rod. Man, you forget, you know? But uh, here they are in different combinations. I never did open the black one, but it looks really cool. I love how it looks in the black. Really awesome. It's pretty cool to have these. And you do have the mod rod again in new in Q case, the last case for 2021, you can get him in white. And he's now available also in A case. I heard it's going to be out in A case. So I don't need another one, so I won't be picking him up if I see him. But uh, this one comes out. is available, I mean, in A case right now. So you'll see this one at Walmart pretty soon if you haven't seen him already. So we're going to have another hot rod added to the collection called the Mod Rod. So there we go, Mod Rod, Rip Rod, Bone Shaker, Baja Bone Shaker. <laughs> Here's another one in blue, another Mod Rod with orange flames. So I have a bunch of these Mod Rods. I love the black one. I'm gonna have to open that black one. Another cool hot rod that I love is the Way Too Fast. This one came out a long time ago and I believe I have an extra one on the card of this. I couldn't find it to show you. 
There's so many cards put away, but I do have it on the card. 1996, copyright on this one, made in Thailand. All metal base, and all the pipes are metal, but the engines are plastic. So metal base and metal body, plastic engines on top here. And you can see two engines, all those pipes, the way too fast. Really cool. This one looks a lot like the Demon. Like the, the Demon. I think they uh, may have changed the name on it to the Prowler, but I'm not sure. I think they changed the name. But it used to be called the Demon, a little one that's like this, like about that big, <laughs> with the little one. Very cool, the way too fast. I love the checkered flag on the top, Hot Wheels logo. That looks so awesome. This one's been damaged a little bit. Going down the track, crashing and smashing. <laughs> Pretty cool, and we were talking about, uh, well, talking about hot rods, I might as well show you some more. I have this, uh, this nice pickup truck here. I was thinking about all those trucks that that I got lately from uh, from the Dollar General store. Custom 56 Ford truck, copyrighted 2008 and then 2016, again, made in Indonesia. So this one is from the five packs. Really cool front end, that metallic blue with the orange and the yellow. Quick lube on the door. Really awesome, bigger wheels in the back and yellow. Nice black tires. Pretty awesome truck. Yeah, I was talking about the uh, the other day about the Dollar General ones. They have these at Dollar General right now. And just uh, thinking about the uh, trucks that I had. And I have that purple one in orange, which I haven't showed in, shown uh, in a while. So that purple one, you can find it in orange. And there's there's how they look side by side. You can see a lot of differences, how much they change when they put all that striping on it, right? It looks so different. And I do have that uh, green one. I have a pink one too, I just couldn't find it. But I have a pink one somewhere, metallic pink. I believe it's the same one. I think it's this one. But here's the green one. These are all pretty cool trucks. And here's a gray one that you can find now at Dollar General. Maybe other stores too, it's not exclusive or anything. But I have the, the blue one, the light blue, the white wheels, which looks really cool. Hot Wheels Speed Shop on it. You can see they're the same casting. They just look so different with the different uh, paint jobs on them. Pretty awesome trucks, man. They look so good. Pretty creative. See how different? They totally change the look depending on how they paint them. So cool. They look really, really nice. Look at that. That's a beauty right there. And so is this one. It looks so cool. Yeah, I love these. These are really awesome. So I also have this one in the darker blue. And there he is in the darker blue. The Mighty Max Garage. Hot Wheels logo right there in the middle. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. This one has a lot of, a lot of uh, weathering on it. See all the rust happening. Pretty awesome trucks right there. And they have also a uh, green one from the Mighty Max Garage. Also weathered out in a beautiful green. With the rust, it looks so cool. There we go. This one is just like really, really cool. Yeah, 
love this one. Pipes down there. <laughs> Pretty awesome. And then, speaking of hot rods, what else do we have? We have, here's a nice hot rod. Look at this. Check out this Hot Wheels. The Goodyear logo right there. Hot Wheels logo over here. Goodyear logo back here. Pack right there. Left side driver, white interior, big giant bucket seats in this one. This is a Willys Jeep. 42 Willys. Got some garbage on there. Forty two willies. So awesome. And when I was checking out these uh, hot rods, just reminded me how cool the Dodger Roger is. The Roger Dodger, which I have a really cool one that uh, I never opened up, but it came really cool in this uh, 30th anniversary. Um, Roger Dodger in purple. And the Flying Colors series. Kind of like a commemorative for uh, for 1974. When they did the 30th anniversary of Hot Wheels, they, they issued these boxes and they they uh, commemorated like various years. It's not just 74, like various years, 74, 78, so, you know, like different years. I don't remember exactly which years, but very cool to have it with the old style card. And I never opened it because it just looks so cool like that. I used, I used to have it out on display, but now I just have it in my drawer there. Put a lot of cars in, in, in my drawers here. Have these uh really cool drawers behind me with uh, some of my cars in there. Very, very cool. Nice card. Awesome. They do these really cool sets sometimes. Something like unusual like that. Very, very cool stuff. Here's another little hot rod. Just got in the hot rod mood today. <laughs> very cool. This was not out not too long ago. You probably have it if you've been collecting for, for a year or so. The 32 Ford. Gotta love a 32 Ford. This one is from that little games uh, series they were doing. The Uno on the door there and the cards. There's the wild card in the back. This one also came, came out recently in the blue color. So here I have Uno Dos, so one and two. <laughs> Pretty cool one. Keep getting this little garbage on there. <laughs> little hair that won't go away. <laughs> Keeps creeping up on, a, on all the cards here. Wow, this one's really cool with the red, and then we have this one in the blue. Nice, cool little pair of hot rods here. A lot of little hot rods today here. Here's another one that's a 32 with Gonzo on it from the Muppets. Disney Muppets. Disney The Muppets. Nice metallic blue color. And you can see they're the same casting. They painted the blower on this one on top in blue. This one has a small little blower up here. So a couple little differences there when it comes to the uh, this part here in the front. And this one also has something stuck on there. Jeez. I think the Hot Wheels are magnets to a uh, little dust and little hairs and garbage. <laughs> They're always getting stuck on my cars. Very, very nice. These are so cool. Nice little Hot Wheels, Hot Rods. So awesome. And that made me, reminded me the Gonzo one that I have these little Hot Rods. Little Miss Piggy. Little BW. With the Muppets on it. It's got the metal base and metal body. So this one's really cool because it's got metal. On the bottom and on the top. Very cool. In a metallic pink color. And you got Miss Piggy on there. The red chrome wheels. Big giant wheels in the back. Smaller ones in the front. Very nice. I love this one. Kind of reminds me of this one right here. 
which I think is a uh, flying flying customs from the uh, Target exclusive series, I believe. That's what I remember. Very similar, but not the same exact. You can see this one has the open roof. This one has a roof rack. One pipe on this one. This one has a two. They changed this because now they make it in plastic. And they changed the top here. I don't know. This is kind of like a... I don't know if it's... Yeah, I think it's just exclusive to uh, Target. <clears throat> but uh, pretty cool to have these two little rods. Little hot rods. Custom rods. Whatever you want to call them. And then we were talking about the Nash. And the Nash came out in this blue with some weathering on it. You can see all the little rust areas. And uh, this is the new one for 2022. That's coming out now in a case. So now I have a couple of these. Just wanted to show this one because I was talking about it when I was showing this one. So I thought I'd just uh, show you just in case you saw that last video. That uh, Here it is in the blue color I was talking about. Again, full of little garbage. <laughs> all these little <clears throat> hairs stuck on these cars. But here we go. Got two of these little Nash cars now. So cool. And then from a Q case, we had that, uh, that little uh, manga tuner I was talking about the other day. And I mentioned the other colors and I didn't have them handy. But now I have them right here. See, so it came out in this pink color. And... This one, which I keep calling purple, it's kind of got that color that the Nash has. It's kind of like a subdued purple, but it's a purple gray. When you spin it around, you see the purple and the gray, and there goes a little garbage again. Jeez. I'm going to have to take all these to the car wash. So it just like, looks a lot like the, uh, the Nash color. Very similar, the way it has like gray and purple in it. So I thought that'd be interesting to see these together. And how cool these look <clears throat> together the orange and this hot pink metallic hot pink really pops really looks cool and that orange color looks cool these have those little tiny wheels on them pretty neat okay, I'm not gonna be able to hold all these at once <laughs> but here they are man they look so cool look at that there they are the Manga Tuners. And another cool one I was showing the other day was this one right here. The Osley's 40 Years Chevelle. And here's the blue. I was saying that it came out in blue. Well, here it is. If you haven't seen it, just want to show that real quick. If you were watching that video, well, here's the blue one. Here they are side by side in case you don't have it. You guys probably have it already, right? You probably have both of these. There they are. The new yellow one that's in stores right now at Walmart. And the blue one. If you get an older case, you'll find the blue one. They have the same wheels. But a really nice uh, Chevelle. 67 Chevelle Super Sport 396. And yeah, they're the same casting. So cool, so cool. I also have these uh, ice cream trucks here. This one, the official name on the base is the Quick Bite. And this one comes with the ice cream livery on it. All tampered with the ice cream. Chrome orange wheels with the orange interior. Nice blue on the top. All plastic on top. Metal base. And I have the white one, which also says ice cream. It's like white and blue. Blue interior and the purple windows. This one has a light blue tint on it, the one on the bottom. And look at this one. This one has the blue wheels on it. Different spokes. And I do have the New Year's edition. On 2021 hit. So the beginning of the year. Last year. 2021. And they have disappeared. I haven't seen them anymore. On the shelves. Unless they bring out some older cases. 
That'd be something if they brought out like an eight case from last year. You never know what can happen lately. Things are crazy lately with distribution, with everything that's going on in the world. And check it out. I came across this one. I was looking for some of the, the mod rods. And I had this one in the same case. I thought I showed you guys a twin mill with an orange base. I haven't seen this one in a while. I had it put in a case there with a number five on them. Very cool. Another one I haven't seen in a while in these colors. And it's nice to have it. I have it nice and clean. I know there's a lot of fans of the twin mill out there. And one of my friends, Randy, has uh, a love for these twin mills. Well, there you go, Randy. Here's a twin mill. Really nice twin mill. And check this out. Here's a nice Hot Wheels logo on this really cool Hot Wheels truck. This one has kind of like the skeletons and the lightning, kind of like a Halloween truck. I don't remember uh, how long ago I bought this one. 2012 is the copyright, but I had it in the same case with uh, some of the other ones. So I was looking through and I thought I'd show this one today. Very cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out all these cool Hot Wheels. So many awesome Hot Wheels to show you here today. Really nice, fun showcase for me to go checking out all these Hot Wheels. And some of the new ones I just picked up that were pretty cool. I'm happy to add them to the collection. And uh, again, here's the Roger Dodger. Look how cool to have the little the set and now have the newest Roger Dodger in black. So awesome. And there he is with some red lines on him. Very cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next video.